contradicts really what is expected in a medley. It's that in a moment. Limbia, Chan, Fidders, Firth, Shabalina, Applegate, Barbatina, and Indriani. That is your start list. But Bethany Firth, rather than maybe waiting for a breaststroke to be the catalyst, she tries to break the field in the early going. Her backstroke is her strongest stroke by a long way. And she will look to have after the first two lengths and hold in the second. The start crucial for Bethany Firth. Yeah, and the race for the medals really looks to be developing after the heat from those athletes in the four centre lanes. But it is Shabalina, the world champion, the last time that she was on the world stage back in Glasgow in 2015. Bethany Firth was a Paralympic champion in Rio. So there is danger everywhere. And it's Shabalina that leads after the first turn with Jessica Jane Applegate, the butterfly specialist in second, and Firth in third. Louise Fiddles of Great Britain also got a brilliant breaststroke. So the three athletes that are currently at the front of the picture will know they've got to work this first 100 metres because she will be charging the world champion from this week, Fiddles, the breaststroke specialist. She will be looking to reel these athletes in. But at the moment, Chavalina, a body length up on Bethany Firth. Bethany Firth would have hoped to be in closer at this turn. Yeah, 100%. This is a really, really fantastic swim from Shabalina so far. To lead out Bethany Firth after a fly and a backstroke by the best part of two seconds is phenomenal. Yeah, Bethany Firth is the Paralympic silver medalist in the breaststroke. Shabalina won a bronze medal earlier this week. So they fairly evenly match on this breaststroke leg. And then it will come down to the freestyle. But keep an eye out for the breaststrokers who are now making their charge. Chan Yu Lam of Hong Kong in lane two and Louise Phyllis of Great Britain in lane three. They are clawing Jessica Jane Applegate back as we go down this third length. The Shabalina is the world record holder. Set that at the European Championships in Funchal in 2016. The last time she competed on the international stage. She's been fantastic all week long and she leads the way home here for Russia. Final 25 metres and the gap looks too big for Bethany Firth. Louise Fittis leads the race of bronze at the minute in front of Jessica Jane Applegate. But Valeria Shabalina here is flying. What a start. What a finish. She's going to be really close to world record time. How quick is it? Oh, it's phenomenal. Championship record for Valeria Shabalina. Bethany Firth with the silver. It's Louise Fittis with bronze. Two Brits on the podium, but that is an unbelievable swim from Valeria Shabalina in the face of that field to win by that distance. That is incredible. Yeah, great championship record there for Shabalina of Russia. Yes, 14 great British athletes have enjoyed significant success in her, ab in her absence. But she has announced this week that she is back and she means business. You can see what that result meant to her as well. This is the one race where she's had to take on all three of the British girls who've been expected to be so dominant across different races this week. Chavalina hasn't been on top of the podium constantly. She's been beaten by first. She's been beaten on, by Applegate on occasion. But that was spectacular. World champion in the 200 IM for the SM14s once again is Valeria Shabalina picking up from where she left off in Funchal in 2016 and in Glasgow in 2015.